Guys are going to be playing in a map located in Singapore called Cargo. And they're playing in a mode called Combat Training. Now, this is the full multiplayer experience, only you're playing, in this case, against AI bots. And it's a great mode to build your skills if you're playing by yourself or also with a friend, as the guys are doing here. Now, graphically, you can see that Singapore, this cargo map, really brings into light the incredible graphics that Treyarch are bringing to Black Ops 2. And we've never been able to achieve this level of realism before on a Nintendo platform. You can see the atmosphere and the textures and the lighting are all on a new level for what we've been able to do on a Nintendo platform. Um, and one of the, and, uh, the other thing to note is that it's all being delivered in full HD and in Call of Duty's signature 60 frames per second. Now, one of the coolest things about Black Ops 2, as I mentioned, is the near future weaponry, much of which is drone technology. Now, you can actually play as a lot of these drone weapons. Now, Jacob just took control of a weaponized quad rotor helicopter, so he's taking the fight to the air, which is a new gameplay mechanic for multiplayer in Call of Duty. And we've also reinvented Create a Class, which gives gamers more control and more choices over how to outfit their soldier to fit their style of gameplay than ever before. When we're doing it on the Wii U, all that takes place right in the palm of your hand on the second screen. So you can change your loadout on the fly, mid-game, and not miss a second of the action. Now, players can also use the second screen to view their mini-map while they're playing, or even to call in a score streak right from the touch screen. You can tell that Treyarch had some fun uh, figuring out the ways to leverage the gamepad second screen. And uh, what I'm proud of is not just for mere novelty, but it really does enhance the gameplay experience. They've also built in support, I think it's worth noting, for the Wii Remote and Nunchucks, as well as the new Pro Controller. So whichever controller you're using on the Wii U, you'll be able to play Black Ops 2 with it. And speaking of enhancing the gameplay experience, one of the coolest things about Black Ops 2 for the Wii U is how we're using the gamepad to turn what was a split screen into two separate full screens. Instead of splitting the screen down the middle when you're playing with a buddy, one player can now play on full screen on the TV while the other plays with a second full screen on the gamepad. So this whole time, Jason's been playing alongside Jacob, full screen on his gamepad. Both guys can play here together competitively or cooperatively in the same room without having to share the same screen. Now, if you've ever had to fight for who controls the TV in your house, the Gamers will also appreciate the fact that you can play Okay, so we're going to rain a whole squadron of drones down on Singapore, and I can tell you it's not a very pleasant time to be an AI bot right now. Um, so that's just a little slice of Call of Duty Black Ops 2 multiplayer for the Wii U. And it's going to be, of course, even more dramatic when you have all your friends playing together online in a full-on multiplayer battle. So round of applause for Jason and Jacob.